hello guys welcome to master g programming video tutorials in this video is important for you this video is important for you i'm repeating this again this video is important for you so don't listen to it only see to it because all the questions that i am giving here is related to the all topics that we have completed in the last tutorials so if you will complete this all the question 8 then I think so you are ready to move on with the C++ and if you are not then see again my tutorials and then follow this questions and I will surely know that you will do it. So I am going to start with one by one question and explain the what I will be asking in you the questions and then I I want that you try on this and if you have any doubt you can ask me and I will be ready to explain you that. So first question is this declare a structure to represent a complex number and a number having a real and imaginary part write the C++ function to add subtract multiply and divide to complex number. So this is a simple question I don't have to dig a, explain this thing what I am asking there is simply a imaginary real part complex number you have to make and don't forget to use the structure in that and you have to apply some operation on that to re a complex number that you are entering from the user so add subtract multiply and divide add. and then damn sure that you know the combat about the complex number now this is the second question in the second question I want to know the output of this question that I am asking because the second question is a bit typical and I think if you know the exact use of all the topics that I have taught you structure pointers uh, not pointers uh, that uh, functions so you can tell me the output of this thing so tell me the output what will the output get, get me in the comments if you see this then third this is the question then this is the fourth question I want the output of third question also see to it then this is the fourth question addition of the members of the two different uh, two different classes using friend function don't forget to friend function. If you don't know the friend function, then see to the method tutorial. tutorial. Then this is the third question that I want the output of that. Then this is the sixth question. I also want the output of this sixth question. This is a big question. Don't get panic out of seeing this much big question. This is of related to inheritance, not a big type. You can easily do to it. So don't get panic. And there is also a fifth question. If I will. I can show you wait a second oh this is the fifth question so recursive function to determine the input so I I think so that I have taught you about the recursive function so do it for me guys one thing I want to tell you in my teaching experience one thing I have experienced is that the teaching is not the part that it is a job and I have to do it. No, this is not the thing. The one who, are who is learning is the more important part. If you want to learn anything, then you are responsible for that. The teacher is not going to sit beside you every time and every time going to tell you the answer or anything, explain you everything. No, it is your experience too. You have to get experience from your studies and analyze all the things that you are seeing and then you have to move on with your things. So this is your part. We can only show you the way where you have to go. All the hard work, all the ways you have to decide what you have to do in that way. So I have, I have to tell you that don't think that we are forcing or your parents are forcing to study no this is your job and you will going to earn it not we i have no benefit in teaching you i have the only benefit is that if you will get any name in your uh, in your future then it will be proud moment for you not to me so do it for yourself not for me not for your parents not for your anyone else do it for you study for you so these all question you have to do yourself and don't try to cheat anyone so this is the sixth question you can see the sixth question and I want the output of this then 
go to the seventh question copy it on your screen then this is the seventh question below it now see to it this is the seventh question to show these numbers occur approximately equal likelihood let's stimulate 6000 rules of a die with a program above so we should say that each number from 1 to 6 should appear approximately 1000 times this is a bit good good, good mining question so please do it if you have any doubt you can ask to me i will be there for you then this eighth question i want the output of this eighth question so that's all and i I am thinking that you will be doing it. Thank you. We will meet in next video with the answers for some imp important interesting topics to, to C++.